am Dr. Ravi Kumar, Senior Intervention Radiologist at Apollo Hospitals. Hi, I am Dr. Pritam Chatterjee, Senior Consultant in Intervention Radiology at Apollo Hospitals. Hi, I am Dr. Mohammed Zubair, Fellow in Intervention Radiology at Apollo Hospitals. Uh, I am Dr. Janathan Kredi, Anastasia Consultant. A few moments later. Mr. Yatin, you can tell about yourself and why do you like to have coffee with the intervention radiologist? Being a neurosurgeon, how you afford to sit between the neuro intervention uh, radiologist? Over to you, Yatin. So it is always better to learn formally. So Abhijit, I mean, uh, 
uh, interview itself, we like your approach to intervention and you know, your passion. So now, after two months, are you still interested in intervention? What is your, you know, are you still that passionate or this hard work is again actually bothering you? Uh, yeah, there, there is a transition from the routine radiology work to coming into the intervention field. Yes, I did have a transition point and uh, now I am fully blended into the system. And uh, yeah, interventional radiology you have to be there all the time. So, so what is the call. main change you found from radiology and intervention? What do you work? It's more of a clinical work and more patient interaction? Yeah, there is a lot of patient interaction. You have to see the patient right from the history, see what are the findings from the uh, admission files, go through all the images, go through the previous reports, see the comparison and uh, make the best plan for the patient, whether uh, uh, what what is the best available in the intervention field. And do you think joining intervention is also improving your radiology? Yeah, definitely. Uh, because I, I, had, I didn't have much exposure to post-interventional imaging. So that is definitely helping me to understand the uh, post-interventional imaging uh, part of the diagnostic work. That's what I was just trying to you know, get the feed from. Because the main uh, idea of intervention and doing more you know, clinical work is that you always follow up the patient, you interact with the patient. You are not just imagine, you know, doing imaging of the patient. You are from beginning to the end. You are seeing through the patient journey what is happening. So you have a holistic idea of the patient's journey and the clinical approach to the patient. So that's what helps your radiology also to improve. We are decreasing the gap between the patient and the doctor the patient the doctor. through this approach and we are providing a good service to the patient in terms of microsurgery and uh, starless surgery. So I have a couple of questions for... Uh, now I think the uh, this is completing. Yeah. He should give us one year whole... Uh, yeah, you uh, uh, your intercourse I have to take. Hello, what is it? Yeah, okay. So... Oh, I will take the interview. In the general this interview I will take one more. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Yourself 20 years back when you started intervention and now, how is the evolution? 
mean, uh, when I started intervention, at least, you know, like it was not very well known, because I did my intervention in the training in Bombay. And uh, I came back to Chennai hoping that there would be a lot of uh, intervention work. And when I came here, I realized like the, the concept of intervention really was not that very good developed in Chennai. So I had to really start from groundwork. There were only like two or three interventions for the entire Chennai academy at that time. And many of the consultants privately didn't know what was intervention and where we followed it back. So though it was a difficult journey uh, from the financial aspect, but I thinking back after 20 years, it was a really wonderful journey. I really enjoyed it. Because uh, how now, the way we are all doing interventions day in and day out, I think there's a lot of change. Consultants know where we are needed and uh, we also know what is the limitations, technology has developed, we are increasing all technologies. It's a fantastic growth phase from mm -hmm. what I started until today, beautiful uh, growth phase. And I think there is a very bright, good scope for interventionists. But we need to be, only one thing which I said, we need to be clinical interventionists. That's where I think we miss out a lot of things. That's where I think the clinical component will be part and parcel of the training program. That's what you We feel more and more intervention ideologies have to come out of the radiologist's mouth yes. and have more and more. We should run clinics, intervention radiology clinics, minimal invasive clinics. That's how it has to be in the future. Then only people will come into your place. I have a follow up question with Kavisa and Kingdom, sir. So, that transition phase was there when we had micro hardware. And now we have the micro hardware. So, what things are there? Yeah, how was the journey here? Did you enjoy the whole process of intervention? Yeah, 
certainly so it, uh, the journey was like when i joined dmb here so it was like i didn't knew about intervention radiology i just knew that i am going for a radiology imaging thing and i used to have to sit on a computer report cases that's it but when i met pritam sir and ravi sir i got to know that we can also uh, go and treat the patient we can interact with the patient and uh, with imaging we can help treat the patient and uh, make a better living for the patient so from that time i uh, developed my interest i kept on seeing cases of uh, intervention and uh, uh, during my dmp training i got uh, few days posting in intervention radiology that helped me uh, in developing interest towards intervention radiology so once i joined here i had that gap between the patient and me and uh, since before that i was just reporting i didn't interact with the patient never used to take history and all it was like all given uh, spoon fed in my data sheet then once i joined here i started interacting with the patient i i started with the non vascular procedures slowly i uh, started holding the catheters my uh, wires micro wires and uh, and i interacted with the patient to history in a systematic way and uh, previously i didn't had the eye hand coordination i used to put the needle somewhere and my probe was somewhere so slowly slowly with the help of my mentors i developed that skill so now i am able to put the needle without seeing it in the patient's body and uh, i'll try i will always try and i was trying not to harm the patient always and in future also this skills i will maintain and help the patient doing the ethical practice and it was a great uh, 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 journey and uh, what we say it was like a very uh, great experience i'm working under dr r ravi kumar and dr pritam chatterji they taught me a lot of basic things plus lot of advanced and some shortcuts and some uh, some key points in intervention radiology which which will be helping me and which helped me to uh, do a procedure and in future also i'd use that same uh, techniques and uh, try to improvise on that and help the patient with my practice and hopefully uh, i will be uh, doing a great service for the human being okay so we have been with us for a year and uh, any time uh, you would like to inform us right you know some areas of improvement so that you know It will be very useful for the next uh, fellows who are coming in. So, any areas that we need to address, where you felt it could have been done better, to get yeah. Us Actually, it was a great program, and uh, it was flawless, and uh, it is very systematic. Things uh, improvement is not needed, but uh, thing is, the way once the fellow comes, uh, there is some gap to interact with the mentors. So, but since Pritam sir and Ravi sir are so friendly. that gap will get reduced in few days time only so same i recommend for other programs also there should be a very least gap between the mentors and the fellow so that it helps in the learning and uh, interaction between the colleagues and the teachers in fact preetha makes it a very nice uh, it is a buffer between the teachers and the Our buffer used to be in the canteens and the restaurant, <laughs> and that interaction with our mentors, so that uh, they will teach us also. We will enjoy our uh, uh, night time, dinner time, lunch time, and that's how we learn here. And it was a very good experience. And in future also, I will be keeping in touch with my uh, mentors. And uh, since our group is the higher matrix. we we'll try to grow it uh, bigger and bigger so it helps a larger community and uh, that only was our aim and it will be our aim in future also yeah, yeah. thanks for the very real pleasure thank you so much pleasure we will do different things in touch and we need a technical support from college certainly we need all the best all the best thank you sir 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 thank you sir